Come on. Hold. Hold. Come on. Bless your morrow. Feet don't fail me now. I've leveled out. I wish my friends at the firehouse could see me now. My friends, I don't know where to start, but we have a daunting task ahead of us. Daunting. I don't use those big dollar words very often. But uh, when I say the word daunting, we have a daunting task ahead of us. And it has required the teamwork of a whole lot of people. Mr. David, that's uh, Miss Pat's husband, Mr. David, has brought us or he's bringing us some of these big tanks from his company. I, I don't know where to begin. I do not know where to begin. I'm going to talk you through the entire process of what our plan is. Now listen, when I say our plan, this is some Morrow Engineering at its finest. Guys, we are doing some Morrow Engineering at its finest. And uh, if I, yeah, it's kind of a joke, but when we call it Morrow Engineering, you know things are probably not going to always work out the way we had planned. But we are going to try. We are going to try. Y'all stick with me. It's always funner and gooder. Let me explain to you what we're going to do morning folks lester here and uh boy have we got our work cut out for us let me show you what's going on and uh i'll be real excited to read the comments and see what your thought process is on all of this uh before i say a whole lot about what we're doing let me tell you what we're not doing we're not going to spend $20,000, and that's a low bid. Guys, we're not gonna spend $20,000 on a huge diesel pump that's going to be a stationary setup that will sit alongside the river and pump water up this hill to fill our pond. That, to us, was not a wise investment. Uh, we don't have a we know we're not in a year-round drought we've had a couple of droughts the last couple of years and it's left us with no water in our pond no water in our pond means no water for our animals that well they have they have fresh drinking water but animals also like pond water it's also left a big scar on our property and you just want to have a full pond you need a full pond uh, if we also plan on irrigating, we need a pond to irrigate from. You cannot irrigate a little straight from the river. I'm rambling. Let me just turn the camera around and just stop talking. So, instead of spending $20,000, we spent a total of five. And we've bought ourselves three Generac water pumps. It comes with a complete hose kit. There's a 150 foot of hose. Now what we're gonna do is this. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we're doing this, y'all. I cannot believe we're doing this. Okay, bear with me as I show you what we're gonna do. We are going to go down this hill all the way down to the river. We will take our first pump and we'll place it alongside the river in a safe, secure location and we're gonna begin pumping water. Now, we have 125 foot of hose with each pump. So the water that comes out of that river will go 125 foot until it reaches the very first holding tank. From that holding tank, we will have a second pump. Uh, I would say once the holding tank is about halfway full, we will crank that second pump up and we'll pump from holding tank number one 
continuing up the hill to holding tank number two. Once holding tank number two is halfway full, we will put our third pump and that will pump from holding tank two all the way up to the top of this hill. Okay, now this is where the fun part begins. All right, now that we are on top of our hill, it's a downhill slope from here. So what we will do is we did not want to go buy a bunch of PVC and have to try to piece it all together. So we did buy a roll of plastic. Guys, please just don't, don't judge. We bought ourselves a roll of plastic and we're going to lay that plastic out and let that second or that third pump run down this plastic. It's gonna follow the natural elevation of the land and we will begin to slowly, and I mean slowly, with a two inch pump, pumps plural, we will slowly begin to refill our pond. My friends, we have a whole lot of, oh my gosh, capacity to go here. We need a lot of water. We need a lot of water. You can see where the water line is at and where the water needs to be up to the white rock, the bull rock. So we have a long way to go and lots of water needed. Uh, this will not be something that we can do in a day. This will actually probably take a couple of weeks. You cannot run those pumps continuously. They can probably run an hour or two at a time. At that point, we'll shut them down, refuel, check our oil. And once they're cooled off, we'll crank them up and we'll go again. It's going to be a whole lot of climbing, a whole lot of, yeah, we're going to, Lester will be navigating some hills, my friends. I'll be navigating some hills, but we have to try something. We can't just sit here on our hands and wait. We have to try something, friends. And I don't know what else to do. I don't. I don't know what else to do. So like I said, we've invested a little bit of money, uh, what we could afford. And we're going to try to tomorrow engineer this thing. And I could certainly use your prayers that we stay safe in doing what we have to do. Uh prayers of gratitude or thanks for the folks who've helped us, uh, Mr. David, for what he's done with bring, providing these tanks from his business and uh, the blessings of you guys watching our videos, which allow us a little bit of ad revenue, which is helping to buy the parts and supplies that we need. I'll say one last thing before I end the video. I've talked over and over about the fact that you have to give back to those that have provided for you. And we are a farm, a rescue, an animal channel. And it is, it is our duty, my friends, to try to give these babies their best life. They have in fact given us our best life. And so we owe it to them to at least try. So, you give back to those who've given to you. And that is kind of how we find balance in all of this. I wanna make sure that you understand that there's no guarantees this is going to work. You might say, Lester, if it doesn't work, y'all have just lost another $5,000, yeah? we have lost another $5,000 if it doesn't work. But at least we go with the peace of mind knowing that we tried. The only way we can ever begin to try to irrigate our pastures, be it now or be it in the future, is we have to have a full pond. And if we do not have a pond, we have no source of irrigation. You can't drill wells to irrigate 20 acres, my friends. We don't have access to city water here. This is a rural community. We don't have city water here. 
and we probably couldn't afford that anyway. This is a 20 acre pasture. So we do what we can, come here fireball, and we're doing what we can. So, it is uh, going to be a very large endeavor. Oh, I'm certain it's gonna take great toll on my body. <laughs> But, uh, y'all follow along, huh? And let's see what we can do. Let's just see what we can do. Give us a chance. They're very curious what I'm up to. Like, Dad, what are you doing today? What are you up to, Dad? I don't know exactly, y'all. I don't know what I'm up to. But if it works, talk about a slip and slide. We're gonna have us some fun. <laughs> Guys, if it does, if it works, we're gonna have us some slip and sliding fun the next couple of days. We hope to keep you all around. Uh, when I say that, I wanna be able to celebrate with you if it does. And uh, if it doesn't, well, your loyalty means so much to us, y'all. In a world that we live in where loyalty is, is very uncommon, it's a very uncommon character trait to be completely loyal. And that means more to us now than ever. Thank y'all for watching, and we will see you on tomorrow's video. Let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.